Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for tuning in today. So we're back with what has become a very popular segment for our particular channel. That is our Ipsy versus Ipsy. This is our Glam Bag Plus edition. And boy, is it a wild ride this month. So better buckle up buckaroos, cause here we go. So normally the concept is Ipsy versus Ipsy. My mother has an Ipsy subscription for both the Plus and the regular bag. I do as well. So that we normally take her box and my box and we compare the two. Well, my box was delivered on Wednesday but not to me. Uh, meaning that I received notification that it had uh, been delivered and it is not in uh, on my property. So I don't know where it is. I did something I don't normally do because of that. And I checked my spoilers and I am absolutely devastated because it's the best box I've received in all of 2020. And uh, based on kind of what's happened with that, I expect that I will never receive it. I'm hoping it at best for a refund maybe, uh, but it's probably, it's not coming to me. So whoever got my box, I hope you enjoy it because it was good stuff. So I, I hope you like it. Um, I will, we will show you guys what I would have gotten in the box at the end. Nikki will do like some cool graphics and show you like all the products. But yeah, I uh, I did email Ipsy. I mean, they said they it would take them 24 hours. I, I don't blame Ipsy at all for this. Let me just go ahead and start that caveat. I don't blame Ipsy at all for anything that happened because it's not their fault. It's definitely the shipping companies and I understand everything is crazy right now. And so there are like things that happen, but um, I emailed Ipsy, then I just tweeted about it from the Dark Angel page and just, you know, basically was saying that I was sad because I was so excited about the products I was getting. So I'm really sad that I'm not gonna get it. And customer service literally reached out to me within like three minutes of my tweet going out. So I was like, that's impressive in my opinion. So I talked to uh, Stephanie who was very helpful, uh, but she did say that I had to wait. She's like, sometimes they, uh, they go ahead and say that it's been delivered even if it hasn't. I find that hard to believe. I've never had that happen with another box, but it, Okay, so I was like, all right, fine. I can be patient. Uh, but she's told me to wait five days. So it should have been delivered Wednesday. We're now at Saturday. So I have to wait five business days. So by next Wednesday, I will be able to email them and tell them that I still have not received my box because I I'm, I'm promise I will not receive it. Which is, to me, that's kind of one of those like weird, like the missing person 24 hour rule. Like somebody has to be missing for 24 hours before you can report them missing, which doesn't make sense to me because they say that you only have 48 hours to find that person. So it's like, <laughs> Okay, that's stupid. But here we are. So I'm waiting until I can email them again and tell them that my box still is not here. Uh, my mom's was supposed to arrive two days after mine and it did, but there's a funny story with that as well. So the mail people have stopped bringing stuff, packages up to our front door. Our mailbox is like all the way out at the street and it's a stone mailbox, so it has a flat top. So uh, they've just started setting boxes out there. Well, it happened to be pouring rain when hers was delivered and uh, Nikki was going to pick up food and it uh, it had fallen off the mailbox into the mud. And so this is why the box looks the way it does, which is not good. Uh, I think she checked her products. I think they're okay. I don't know what she's getting. I know what I was going to get. But yeah, so that's a lot of backstory. So it's been a wild ride with Ipsy. Uh, I do wanna say I, I'm, I really don't blame them for anything that happened here. I'm not even really that mad at the postal service. I'm just really sad because this is my, this was going to be the best box that I've received all year. And I, you guys know if you've seen any of our past Ipsy's, especially from this year, I've just been so disappointed, especially with the pluses. So to have a plus that was actually going to be a really, great box in my opinion. No, no lie, no trying to, to sugarcoat it or make it sound better than it was. I was very genuinely excited about every single product I was receiving in my box and it is, I will never see it. So <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. It, it makes me just like a little bit, it just kind of adds that, you know, like the, the thing with subscription boxes for me is like, it gives me just the amount of serotonin that I need to like keep going. And now I'm like, ah, what am I gonna do? So here we are. But anyway, 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 you guys wanna see the products. So I will show you my mother's Ipsy and I will tell you what I was going to get in mine. So let's jump into this bad boy. Here's our one Ipsy for the month that I have to unbox. And then I'll, uh, we'll do some like little cool graphics over here. So this is mom's, she got, First of all, bag's adorable. Thought the bag was precious. Do think it's very small for the plus though. That looks about the size of what the normal glam bag is. So I was kind of like, that's a little teeny, but you know, it is what it is. But very cute, love the color scheme. Very summer springy-ish. Um, inside there's like little confetti. 
precious. Love it, love it. Love the design. Um, so her five products, I think based on what I've seen in my spoilers, we got some similar products and then we got some other products. So the first thing I'm gonna show is the, this is a Mud Masky After Mask Vitamin Serum. It's pH balanced, uh, extra smooth anti-aging, uh, feeding, protecting, and nourishing. So it looks like it's just a little serum that you would put on your face after you wash it and everything. Good size. Um, I have really have started using more face serums and things like that. The masks and stuff I'm still kind of like meh about, but the serums and, and things like that, I, because I've been using them more often, I think this is actually a good product. I don't know the brand, so I don't know what the retail value would be, but I would guess it's probably like a 25 to $30 item, potentially more expensive. I've definitely gotten some serums where people are like, it's $200 and I'm like, really okay but yeah so i i like that i don't know if she's gonna love it but she does like her serums as well she's just very particular about the serums that she likes so that's that's not a bad product in my opinion um i definitely think that would be a a nice thing to receive all right the next thing we got is something from tarte Personally, I love Tarte. I believe this is a lip color. Um, it's called, yep, yeah, it's Sugar Coat Velvet Liquid Lipstick. Let's see what the color is. My mom is very neutral in terms of the colors that she likes to use. Oh, she's gonna love it. Beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. It's, yeah, that's right up her alley. Very neutral, very like peachy brown. That's a great product in my opinion. And of course the great size. And then I, I know Tarte, some brands you don't know and you're like, oh, I'm excited to try this because I like the color scheme, but I know and love Tarte. So that's very exciting. The next thing she got is a Beauty For Real mascara, just a normal black mascara, which if you guys have seen me talk about the Ipsy's in the past, I have complained about getting mascaras. The, for me, because of everything else in this box, it, um, oh, interesting wand. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is like very, interesting. I, I think because there's an excess of mascara product on it, I, I feel like it might be a little bit hard to use. Like you might wind up like getting it everywhere, but it's an interesting wand. I've never seen one that looked like that. So that's kind of cool. As I was like following all the, the tangents and going every which direction with my brain, because that's how it works. It's like a train station, but I'm never really catching the train. I'm just always like running after a bunch of different ones. And then some of them collide and explode and it's really just very messy. So anyway, uh, before I got on that tangent, the, the train tangent, what I was gonna say was a lot of times I do complain about getting things like mascaras and eyeliners. This is a box that that was thrown as, as an extra product and it was not what they were basing their box off of. It wasn't, you didn't get a bunch of the extra superfluous things. This has so many different dimensions in it that are worthwhile in my opinion that that doesn't bother me at all. So mascara, very cool. Uh, interesting, haven't tried the brand and the wand looks interesting. So I'm excited to see her try it and see. All right, she got two palettes. I also got two palettes. Somebody got two palettes, not me. Uh, but I, I paid for two palettes. So uh, two palettes are, exist out there that I did not receive, but I believe we got the same two palettes. So I chose and she chose the Nomad face palette. I love Nomad. It was special edition just for Ipsy. The more I talk about it, the sadder I get. <laughs> Yeah, so this was, she chose it, I chose it. It's beautiful. It's so pretty. I like, I really like Nomad. All the products I've received from Nomad have been in Ipsy's, so I'm a big fan of it. Uh, it looks like you get, well, does it say? Did it tell us what we get? It does say, okay. So we get a highlighter, an illuminator, a bronzer, and a, a glowing bronzer, and then a matte bronzer. So we got your matte bronzer here, your glowing bronzer, your a highlighter, and your illuminator. If I'm being so serious right now, I would use all three of these as highlighter and I would use that as a contour because that's how I do. Um, but it's, it's really, Great size palette. It's really pretty, very summerish. I love it. Moving on. So the next thing, then the final thing in her box, we have the Mimosa Moment eyeshadow palette by Colored Rain. I haven't seen us get two palettes in a box, I don't think ever. Maybe once, maybe. Like when they first started and they were really trying to like get people in and they were like trying to impress people so that when, when people did reviews and talked about their products that they would be like, oh, it's so worth it. Uh, we haven't gotten anything like that in 2020, let me tell you. Uh, so, Big deal, in my opinion, to get two palettes in a box. I think that's awesome. Oh, and yeah, she'd love that. Beautiful, really compact. It's very neutral, very workable shades. You got good mattes, you got good shimmers. Um, it is a very small palette, but the pans of the eyeshadows themselves are huge. So great box, great box. I love her box. 
The sad thing is, is my box actually was better. Um, I will tell you what I got in mine. I'm so sorry. I'm really not trying to be negative. I got I got like really like just absolutely reamed last last month for my negative reviews. Um, I was very disappointed with this box. I'm just absolutely devastated that I'm not going to um, to have the box from this month. So so I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be negative. I'm just sad. So if my if my sadness upsets you, then it upsets me too. So. <laughs> So I got, I'm gonna do this like nice little hand motion and Nikki's just gonna insert the graphic right here because he's good at that and I'm not. So, so I got the MOTD five brush set. I was excited about that because they were eyeshadow and uh, eyeliner brushes that are very precision. And I think I could have used one of them for an eyebrow brush and I need a new eyebrow brush. So I was very excited about getting that. I got the same Sugar Rush uh, lipstick that my mom got. I got the same Nomad Cosmetics face palette that my mom got. I got the same eyeshadow palette that she got. And then I got a Starface uh, sheet mask set. I loved all of that. I'm so sad. I'm so sad, guys. Yeah, I um, will see. I will keep you guys updated. If my box comes, I will happily show you guys the products. I, uh, I don't expect it to come. Basically, when they told me, well, it, it, it might have been marked as late as delivered and not been delivered yet. When it didn't show up the day after they told me that, I was like, it's it's not coming. And when I check the, um, cause on the sales ticket receipt, basically you can say, can you show me proof of delivery? And they, it's it gives me an error message. So I don't know what happened. I don't know where it is. Um, I don't know what that means for me. Basically, I'm just kind of hoping that we're gonna get our $25 back for the box because I don't expect to get any of the products. I know it's very hard. Um, I don't think they have a lot of excess normally to send out to people when this kind of stuff happens. So we'll see. I hope Ipsy handles it as well as they can. Um, I'm really not going to try and be demanding. I'm not gonna be upset. I'm not mad at them for what happened because it's not their fault, but it is incredibly disappointing, especially month after month after month of me feeling like the boxes have been incredibly underwhelming for what we're paying for them. And the first box that I think is like a great box, not a good box, a truly great box where you're getting multiple different products. You can basically do a full face with what you've been given. And it just is, it's like, where's Waldo? Like, where's my box at? Please, please come. And it, mm -mm. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, please give it a like. It definitely helps our channel out an absolute ton. If you haven't joined the Dark Angel family yet, please do so. We would love for you to be part of our little community here on YouTube. Um, we're almost to 500 subscribers, which is so exciting for us. Uh, we've got a really fun idea planned for a video with that. We may try and film that tomorrow. So that way when we hit it, we can just go ahead and be like, boop, there it is. Yeah, other than that, I hope you guys are all staying safe. I know everything is really scary and crazy right now, but just stay safe and stay compassionate. And remember that I love you and I'm hoping you guys all are, are healthy and safe right now and to stay girly with a dark twist.